is the 41 days is traditionally right is recognized um, and it is something that most 41? Hispanic 41 days oh we have 40 the Greeks yeah 40 days uh, it's, no 40 days you're right 40 days oh, it's four, I don't know why I said 40 40 days so um, I had a client recently and I really loved how her family was so a part of the postpartum period I actually took pictures it was so beautiful you know the mom was basically just kind of waited on hand and foot as she should be I mean they would bring her food they were making uh, food while she was in labor and it was like really hearty uh, lentils and meat it wasn't and even this. like a question it was no. just like automatic they just did it yeah and so they brought her food while she was in labor and then as soon as the baby was born they fed her they you know cleaned her up and then when I came back to see her one to two days later she was still in bed you know she was nursing um, they had been cooking for her doing everything for her. all she had to do was focus on nursing the baby taking care of the baby right there on her bed she didn't have to do anything else I mean her it was her sister her, it was her two sisters her mom everyone was just kind of taking turns nurturing her and they all did it for each other as well which I thought was so beautiful I had a really nice with my first one I had a really beautiful um, I was living in New York so my my aunt was there my cousins and then my mom flew in and I remember initially I thought oh my mom's gonna stay for two weeks and, <laughs> uh, and then when she came they they would go to the grocery store they would go get food they would bring it and it was like very specific food it was all iron you know things to help with your iron um, there's so much knowledge that's passed down that we don't respect enough right. Um, so they would come and they would bring it and then they would cook it. I would it just I never I didn't have to do anything And then when I was up nursing in the middle of the night my mom and I would watch a TV show and and we had this like really special time um, And I just I really cherish that that moment and mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm so thankful I didn't appreciate it at the time maybe as much but now that I look back I'm like wow and it was it was a nice memory yeah. as well of my mom helping me yeah. and me and my daughter and my mom all having that that time together but people bringing me food and you know and I think we just really need more of that because I was able to cope with my emotions mm -hmm. a lot better mm -hmm. uh, I had no problems no issues postpartum with healing because I was taken care of so there was no problems happening um, and my daughter and I had a really good bonding experience because there was not a lot of stress from things outside of like the normal oh my you know yeah and each culture explode. has their different traditions I know that in, in the Haitian culture we've had a couple clients and I love their tradition yeah um, and typically you know was how many days after is it that they do it no it's not that many days after I came for the 24 hour check and, and she was doing steaming it. so yeah. <laughs> they, they wrap steam. the belly uh, they sit them on a vaginal steam and then they use herbs for that and they they like you know um, they do like a, a little bit of an aggressive massage and mm -hmm. it's really nice because the mothers or, or the family members in general they'll come even if they are in Haiti they'll come when the mom is gonna have a baby and they will do this for that woman and they heal so nicely yes, yes they, they heal do. nicely they they transition great you know with a, a lot of a lot of these women and our culture um, we don't do we're not supposed to do anything for 40 days and then uh, you know the Greeks are very like Greek Orthodox is huge with Greeks and so what we do is we, we go to the church and after 40 days then the priest bless you and then you're able to go back out and like do your stuff right so 40 days they expect you to sit in your house and do much of nothing mm -hmm. you know um, so that's some of the, the things that we've been exposed to there's actually a few books on um, the different cultural uh, postpartum traditions that they do and mm -hmm. I think it's really interesting and I, I saw a meme the other day with a woman and her she was half naked and the baby was on her boot and she was surrounded by trays of food <laughs> and I was like yes that's what I wish every mom would get I think that was so perfect and we tell our moms all the time you're not here to impress anybody no. guests come over they should be doing something they either need to bring you something mm -hmm. um, they either need to help you with laundry right. and they want the baby to take a shower they yeah. want to help like don't feel bad for yes can you please help me I, I don't know how many times I have family members tell me how can I help you and I didn't know what to tell them at the time when I had my kids but you know oh maybe you can help me with some laundry and then while you're doing the laundry we can spend time together and we can talk or you know you can mm -hmm. visit with the baby but people want to help you know showering they, they was don't, hard it, yes and, and it gives you time to take a shower and take a break you know like 
some deodorant on because you're gonna, you know your armpits stink after a while of nursing all night so um i'm looking at the comments she was really just funny. thinking of steaming her cooch Steam it. <laughs> it's good Go it, for it, it. it helps <laughs> It helps with like a whole bunch of different things. But yes, also, it does. And they use different herbs for whatever you're steaming for, right? So if if you're steaming because you're getting irregular periods right. or very um, painful menstrual cycles, mm -hmm. uh, then there's herbs for that. And then the postpartum has different herbs. So mm -hmm. I'm a big fan. Steam the yoni if you can. Yeah, it's really good. Um, so either way, the family members, friends, they want to help you. You know, if they are asking and you don't oh, tell the them that you were saying to do. Uh, they, another thing is the the, the calendar get a calendar yes uh, and have them come over sign up for a day like uh, we always tell our, our clients at the childbirth classes they have these postpartum calendars and you can sign up for different things for different days so that way everybody's not coming over one day you're and overwhelmed. overwhelmed yep um and then like the next day nobody's there to help you so they can pick a day they can either bring food mm -hmm. or they can sign up for like a chore to do mm -hmm. and they're spending time with you get to see the new baby and believe me like right when they walk in the door you're gonna hand them the baby uh, that's not the issue. It's feeling like you have to host this is the yeah, problem. Yeah, you shouldn't be hosting uh, visitors when you just had a baby. Your boobs are out probably nursing. Well, right. You're that's leaking. The other thing. You're yeah. healing. You're bleeding. Like, you haven't showered. You know, you don't, you don't want to be playing host or serving people. Your they should be serving you. Yeah. yeah, and you know, if you don't tell them what they can do, they're going to bring you a million 